watched my video yesterday, you saw that I was very excited because I mixed up a color with the TLP pigments and I thought I was really smart, but I was not. So basically my original idea was to take TLP Galaxy, which is a black pigment, and mix two interference colors, sequins or comet, one of those, which is like a violet, and then shimmer, which is like kind of like a turquoise, and to see if I could get kind of like a chameleon-ish pigment, which I didn't, I got this really pretty gray, and then I said to myself, how am I gonna use this gray? I know, <clears throat> I'm gonna use it with a new TLP Hammerhead, which I haven't used yet, but when I mixed up Hammerhead, which is really pretty, kind of like a steel gray Hammerhead, you know, shark, they're too similar to use together. So this one is going away again to next time. I'm gonna use it as a background for something, I'm not sure yet, but today I'm gonna try out TLP Hammerhead. It's hard in this light to see, but really nice. So I is, you know, did I want to go blue? Did I want to go, who knows what I wanted to do, but this is what happened. So I started building up with this and I said to myself, you know, I haven't used um, golden thalo turquoise in a while. So we're going blues and like mints. You'll see what I mean. My other tube is Josonia Colony Blue. Okay, you get the drift so far. Then I mixed up my own phthalo green with white for this mint color. I call this Martha Stewart green. Love it. Um, and the two pigments are um, TLP Ball Gown. I think, honestly, I'm pretty sure this is Ball Gown. It's an interference. Um, and it has gold in it, so I'm going to assume it's Ball Gown. And then sea glass. So you can see we're going for this like <sighs> minty, bluish, slightly gray color scheme. My pillow is going to be Sherwin-Williams color to go. I have a bit of um, anchors away left, so that could be nice. What am I doing? Am I just taking like my, am I just doing like one swipe? If I could find my swiper, that'd be good. Oh, here it is. Um, oh, here's Hammerhead in the, not mixed up by the way. Um, am I just taking my swipe and doing like this? Is that boring? It's always hard to figure it out, isn't it? Am I doing like, I don't know. Let me go get my thing and then we'll see. Okay, you know what I realized? I only have this 16 or 18 incher, so I have to make it special and good so we're gonna like add more colors and probably do like a landscape swipe or a beach swipe. Second issue is I only have, do I have more of this? Uh, this much, you know what? I'll, I'll use whatever I have and then I'll surround the rest with tricorn black, right? And because I'm, oops, there's a blue. Because I'm swiping, I wanna make sure there's enough. So if I was doing a bloom, this spins out a lot. So you don't need that much. Obviously this is not enough. Um, is that stupid though? Cause if I'm doing, okay. Don't panic everybody. <laughs> oh wait, there's another bloom. Is this already a disaster? You know, is it? You know what? I'm gonna pause. I must, I know I do have more anchors away somewhere. Okay, pause, I'll be right back. Good news, found some. All right, now we don't have to panic. Now we can just panic about choosing proper colors. Okay, so I think this should be good. Now, we're asking ourselves, what are we doing? And the answer is, of course, we don't know. So let me just do this while we're thinking. I probably just put too much paint. But again, if I'm like tilting, um, I wanna make sure I have enough to play around with it. So like, am I just doing kind of so, some sort of landscape situation? Like, is it a beach? I don't really have sand colors or anything, but okay. Don't panic everybody. I definitely put too much paint on. <laughs> we're, we're off to a good start, everybody. You know what? Let me put some more paint back in here so I don't um, 
waste any, right? Waste not. I waste enough paint as it is. One moment. Talk amongst yourselves. I, I do this all the time. And I always say this, uh, don't put too much paint. And then what happens? I end up putting too much paint. Okay. Or better. I'm just going to put it back in the middle there. Okay. Stop messing around, Lisa, right? Okay. So, if I'm doing some sort of beachy thing, which I really can't. Are we going, are we going darks to lights to pinks? Are we going lights to mids to pinks? That's all very good question, whatever, right? We're just gonna do it. Um, I feel, yeah, then we're gonna go, we're gonna go dark here. Remember, we don't know what we're doing. Okay. So that is the phthalo turquoise. Then I'm going to go mid here for some reason. We don't know why. Okay. Then I'm going light here. Am I not putting enough paint on? That's a very big possibility. Okay, so we have our tubes down, okay? This is TLP pinwheel. It's pink to blue interference. Okay, we're just gonna do that, right? Okay, on the tippy top here, I have gold, TLP golden peach. Still not sure what we're doing, but gonna work because I say so okay pretty now you ask yourself where's the famous hammerhead going the famous hammerhead is gonna go here okay right and then I don't know why I have no rhyme or reason so don't even ask me okay I think maybe I do I'm a genius if I don't if it doesn't work out then I'm just playing around here's sea glass okay and don't forget we have the um, ball gown okay you get the picture here of what's happening I do not <laughs> but that's okay right so we have this I stress myself out because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that's okay. So I am going to do one swipe here, one swipe here, and maybe one swipe there. Now, of course, again, you see that I have piggies on top. It's not going to really hold their cells perfectly. It's going to be kind of wonky unless I put a two paint here, but I don't want, I really am enjoying these colors, right? Unless, hmm. So for my video yesterday, I have this Australian, but it is, this is opaque. I have Australian salmon gum. Maybe if I put a little bit, let's try it out, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, my cell activator and then some salmon gum. <laughs> you following along? Okay, this is my white Shelly Art Cell Activator, which is Australian Floatrol, titanium white paint, about three to one. So what I've done is I spread it on my palette knife. You can get these palette knives at Fluid Arts Company. And I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of this on here. What that will do is somehow, um, maybe help some of the cells keep their shape. I'm just kind of mixing it around a bit so it's not intense. Ready? I don't care. Let's go. Okay. 
we don't know what we've done yet. And that is perfectly okay. Do we like that? I don't like, whatever. This is, okay. We might take that off, we don't know. All right, next, I'm gonna not do that again. And I'm gonna do a swipe here, okay? Same thing, loading my palette knife. I hope this isn't a whole waste of paint. It very well could be, and sometimes it's sad when you do a big one and you waste paint, but at the same time, we don't panic, right? Okay, here we go. I did a little schmoozy thing, I don't know. Hammerhead, definitely pretty, okay? And for this last one, we're gonna just do a swipe straight across. Don't judge it yet. Right now it's looking like a mess, you know? I like that. Okay, clean. Oh, I just made it messy again. Clean it up. And last swipe, that's just fall down. Okay. Okay, I don't know. So now would be a good time to get my skewer. That's pretty. Um, although what am I doing? I don't know. Um, why don't I start to stretch it out first to see. So I really think these are cute. So I wanna keep them. Um, without moving them too much, but we're gonna get rid of that because we know we don't like that. Before I start tilting, why don't I move my paints out of the way, right? So they do not. It's all painty. Okay, here we go. I love the, I love this color combo here. So that salmon gum, like I said, see how it's, uh, because it's opaque, it really just sits on top. We're gonna go slow so we don't uh, ruin too many of what I like. But here we go, just help it along a bit. Okay, I'm gonna go a little faster, but. Um, I definitely want this off. You know what I mean? We don't need that ug. Ug, okay. Now we'll go back down slowly so we don't ruin these guys. This is where we got to be patient. I know I like the colors and I guess at this point we have to just hope and pray that we can get a good shape. That's attractive, right? So bear with me as we stretch it out. <laughs> I feel like Bob Ross, you know how relaxing he is? Okay. I am not as relaxed as Bob Ross though. Okay. And almost there, almost there. I'm not gonna go all the way because it is still gonna spin a bit, but just to get the idea, I actually like where things are ish. Actually, you know what I am gonna, sorry, I lied. Cause I do wanna bring it way back to the middle. So I do wanna make sure that I can keep some of these edges while I move upwards. Okay, they're very cute. It looks so very pearl-esque, you know? I still don't know what I'm looking at yet. It's definitely not a beach, okay? And I don't wanna ruin anything of course but i'm just getting the composition kind of that i like obviously we want this edge off so let's start doing that okay 
good. Oh, it's really getting pretty. Okay. And then I do want this edge off as well. Again, I don't know what I'm looking at, but there it, it does look very crystal-y or something. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Okay. I don't want to take too much. Okay. Here we go. Get back to the middle. Now let's discuss what we want to do next. Okay. This looks pretty neat. I am not enjoying this. So let's get back to this. Tilting takes a long time and you definitely want to stop and take a look at your composition and where your eye goes. I'm just getting this off and then we will talk more about that. Okay, so now we're gonna bring her back. I'm really enjoying it. I do wanna get off this corner. So I'm gonna bring her back to the middle. I know it doesn't look like a traditional bloom or traditional anything, but um, if you're actually just looking at a shape, wanna get rid of this and rid of that, I think it's going to look kind of cool, I hope. I hope you guys agree with me. You know, sometimes I really love something and nobody else likes it, you know, but that's okay. Um, okay, now I'm gonna bring her back down. And eventually I am gonna spin her out when I get, this piece here is just bothering me. So, I hope you guys aren't sleeping because this is boring, but you know. Okay. All right. This is a really cool piece. So now I'm bringing back, bringing back everything to the center to where I want it. You can see how when you're tilting and looking for a good consistency it could take a long time. I mean, not consistency, a good, um, whatever I'm trying to say, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. I think I like what I'm looking at. It looks very, now I do have to spin it. So let's spin it. And cause it's still moving. So I still had too much paint on even after all that. Okay. Um, this part's kind of bothering me now that I think of it. So I'm just going to tilt it off to the side a bit and try to get that a little bit of that off. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's almost there. Let's see. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you know what? And I was actually looking at it in your version this way, but I might like it. I might like it. Hmm. Ooh, see there's choices. I actually think I do like it the way you're looking at it now. Um, when you're, when I'm looking for something for composition, I'm looking where my eye moves, right? So, when something is too, too busy, sometimes your eye doesn't have a place to rest and your eye moves around and there's nowhere to stop. In this painting, and I don't want to show you with my fingers because they're dripping, but my eye kind of moves around and ends up here. And that's kind of nice that there's a place for your eye to rest, I think. So, hmm, now I'm gonna leave it. Let me make sure there's not too much paint. I'm very happy with this. I'm gonna bring you to the light. So tell me, which direction do you prefer it? First of all, do you like it? Did you like talking about composition and stuff? Do you agree that it's kind of cool? Number one. Number two, do you like it the way you're looking at it now with the ball gown at the bottom and the resting place here on the left for you? 
or do you like it hmm with the ball gown on the top and the resting place on the right i if ooh, if i were to guess i think i like it the way you're looking at it right now because i think i like it with the ball gown on the top okay that's my final decision god that was a lot of stress and work hammerhead is looking good tell me what do you guys think what was this crazy i hope you enjoyed my little composition lesson if it was a lesson i don't know love you guys bye